Okay, so if you don't have a container, or at least a secondary container, you can see I've got a collection container, which is my metal cooking pot. But if you don't have those secondary containers, I'm assuming you've got one metal container to boil water in. You're going to make what I call an elevated cloth filter. It's a quad pod with four sticks, not a tripod. And you can put more cloth here if you want. You can put one, two, three, four, as many as you want, different layers. But I'm just assuming I've got my famous tea towel, this one cloth tied up on the four stakes. Keep your four stakes close together. You want to make a sock, a tube configuration the best you can for the cloth material. All you've got is really a small space to put your filter medium into. Very haphazard, but we've got no container. It's just a tea towel folded once to make to try to make a square shape two layers of thick tea towel and there it is hanging like that cordage on a quad pod and I'll try to give you some more angles of that just like that four sticks tying up a cloth material and in there we're going to put our filter medium this time I'm not using cotton balls because I've got no cotton balls, I put sand first because the sand is going to clear out the charcoal from the water. If you put charcoal first and don't have cotton balls underneath, you run the risk of running your charcoal into the water and just getting black water, charcoal coloured black water. That might be clean, but I don't think black coloured water is very palatable and that's not what you want. So I've got sand first, you can put, and this is optional a layer of fine material, grass, tinder or small rocks, then charcoal on top. Nice thick layers if you can. Then on top of that, on top of the charcoal, I've, I think I've put some more, um, well it's optional again, some more fine material, grass, tinder and so forth. All my fine pebbles, I've got small fine pebbles and when I talk about small fine pebbles, just very small fine pebbles. I'm not even putting big rocks in here. I can't put too much in here. I can't put very heavy things and, and so forth. You don't have much room to play with like a container. It's, it's an option if you want to put larger rocks on the very top if you want to slow the water down. I'm not going to do that. And then you can put more grass or fine material on top as a last layer. But the most important layers is sand and charcoal. No cotton balls. So there's no, cotton balls is the best material to filter. It's going to filter out all the carbon and charcoal. It's not very thick, nowhere near as handy as a container. I'm using blue metal this time. I think that foam in my previous videos came from the blue metal. I'm not too sure. If anyone knows about blue metal and whether it produces like a foam or like detergent or something, let me know. And again, I've collected water, thick sediment laden water from the pond, like that. And this time, I'm not even going to keep a control. From previous videos, you can see, really, that's what it is. A really thick, black sort of colour. That's the result I got from my bamboo container. Still coloured, but most of the small particles have been filtered out. It's mainly microscopic particles, which you really can't filter out in the field. If you can get cleaner water than that in the field, I'll be very surprised. It is a colour, but I can boil that and drink that no worries at all. Compared to the really thick sediment laden water you can see the big difference and that's all been shown in previous um, videos and I will put some more to some fine straw like material that I picked up from the garden just on top to slow the water down I'm going to collect the water and you can see how and that was only a few minutes and I've only got half the water back. This arrangement tends to soak up a lot more water. You can try to wring it out more, you can leave it for more, you'll get more. But if you have a close look at that water, that's not a bad result. So that's the first result from the bamboo container. It's still coloured but all that sedimentation and you saw how thick that black milkshake was. I think it's still a bit blackish from charcoal, but that's okay. Charcoal isn't poisonous. You can take charcoal to settle the stomach, to settle down diarrhea and those sorts of um, ailments and so forth. And you can buy charcoal tablets as a treatment for diarrhea and so forth. So charcoal isn't a poison. Too much might be no good. I'm, not, I'm no expert in how much charcoal you can have um, before it becomes poisonous, but...
I don't think that's a bad result from that really thick black milkshake. I think I'm never going to get the light properly to see it. On the camera it's never the same as in real life but you compare that to the black milkshake that I put through you can put it through a second time perhaps that's only one time don't forget and that you know I call that not too bad now if you think it's a bad result let me know and you saw what I put through was all the sedimentation in the pond was mixed up thick black milkshake the same as in previous videos when I retested the video retesting the water filter um, that's video 5 I think it is and that as far as I'm concerned I can boil and drink it's only one time through and don't forget the result here was two times through the bamboo container I think that's a pretty good result from the thick black milkshake just using my elevated cloth filter just like that on a quad pod I hope you found it interesting Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Any questions, let me know.